Today we're at the Moscow Farmer's Market. And today, as usual, you want to come to the market? Come early, you come cold, but you know you're going to have a fun time. The market provides crafts, handmade goods, and of course, delicious, delicious food. And luckily, this one's close to home. These markets are all over the country. It's a great way to spend a day, and it's great to bring anybody. Bring your friends, bring mom and dad, bring the kids. We're here with Kelly Donaldson, a senior here. Uh, why do you come to the market? Um, I come to the farmer's market because I feel like Moscow has a lot of culture. It's like a lot of people creating their own food and um, like selling it. And I like to support lots of like local farmers. Um, so I come here for fresh food mostly just to like get stuff to cook with, have like delicious food. While I eat. Very nice. What, what's your favorite part about the market? Well, my favorite part is seeing all the people. You kind of get to see real people. Lots of times, like in Pullman, it's all college students. And coming here, you get to see like real life again, real like citizens, people. Um, and then, of course, like probably the food and like the little trinkets. And being Cook's Cuisine, what's your favorite food to eat? I remember what it's called. Like, Hornache or something from this Mexican place. Um, it was really spicy, and I don't usually like spicy food, but it was so delicious, I couldn't stop eating it. My ears were ringing, it was like crazy. I really recommend it. If you're a spicy food person, it's for you. <laughs> See, even here at the market, changes your world. Whereas at the market, it's not all veggies, fruits, and crafts. We also have baked goods, honey sticks, fresh cut flowers, a whole bunch of stuff you should take a look at. Yeah, we will. My name's Evan Burns. Remember, shop smart, food smart, eat smart. Thanks, Abby and Evan, for those helpful food tips. Our timer just went off for the salmon, like our final big part of the meal. So, um, yes. can I get some spirit fingers? I think so. Can, is that okay? I'll allow it. Will you? Yep. Yes. Ready? Oh, oh yes. 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 I like a cookie. Can you sniff? Sniff. Smells delicious. Mmm. You want to check that out? Yum, Look yum. That. Beautiful. All right, so our salmon is cooling, and now this is our... Yes. The, the romantic part, the delicious mm. part. We're doing chocolate-covered yes. strawberries for dessert because that's, I mean, mm. quintessential for mm -hmm. romantic couples. So what I'm going to do, arm you guys with little, yes. little things. And I used semi-sweet chocolate. You should get the actual bar form and not the chips. I worked in a bakery and learned that when you try and melt the chips, it's actually manufactured with wax, and the wax makes it really difficult for it to melt, and you can get burnt chocolate. So I just oh. get the bar. I know. Interesting, yeah. Interesting right? Yeah. I took that, took that with me. Took that in back pocket. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and so I just broke this up. I used most of it. I think here over for about this much, which is enough for like 10, but, you know, chocolate's okay. chocolate. Yeah. yeah. Never have too much. Nope. So we've set up a little bar, interactive. You guys can go ahead and do do your thing. They're each going to get... What do we yeah. do? Like, <laughs> you can stab it. it. I think thing. this the sticks might be a little unnecessary, but... Stab? Work. Yeah. Okay. Roll. Stab. Jenna's... I don't have to say anything. Roll. I'm a woman. I'm lost right now, so you should give me some directions. Brandon. Awkward. Oh. Oh. Brandon, Brandon lost his. Brandon has down. lost the berry. Oh, Brandon, no. You got one half I'm only, completely down, I'm doing man. toffee, like, on half. Okay. I think I stabbed Ooh. it in the wrong spot. That's, that's no, my Brandon. problem. <laughs> Brandon, that was classy. This is, this is how in, not to do it. Exactly. Yeah. Brandon that's came in with a perpendicular stab. Coming in way too hot, way too fast. Yeah. So with this dessert bar that we've set up, you can also go, you can go nuts. Well, Literally. You can use nuts. You can use like crushed peanuts. I'm sorry, that was a terrible joke. <laughs> I was intending on doing that. Um, you can use shredded coconut, <laughs> Oreo crumbs, graham cracker crumbs. Mm. Anyway, you guys can really, at home, if you do this, you can mm. really do whatever you want. But God, would you look at that? That looks so gourmet. Mm -hmm. You know Boehm's mm. chocolate? Those like, they dip them and then roll? Like, this is straight up Boehm style right now. Like, can you guys see yeah. that? Yeah. Delish. Mm. So, now that that's done, oh, wow. I'm gonna <laughs> set that to the side for myself. <laughs> and we're gonna plate everything and put it together and it's gonna look beautiful and mm. I'm starting. put on some, some sexy music. Ooh. Um, we have a beautiful meal that they are going to finally get to dig into. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time on Cook's Cuisine. Yeah. So you guys, get in there. Good. <laughs>